Sheng Ju holds in his hand a flexible card. It can adhere to someone's chest to capture and show the movements of the heart. So this device can be worn on, uh, worn on the human body for as long as uh, 24 hours. But uh, if you need it, we can extend the uh, you know, wearing time. It comes with an algorithm that analyzes the images to see if the heart is pumping enough blood. The data can be transferred to a laptop to display the images and show practical information that the untrained can understand. Conventionally, those ultrasound technique needs a lot of training and the data needs a lot of uh, experience to, to understand. But with our technology, there's a simple patch. Uh, any person with a minimum training can uh, use it very well. The ultrasonic cardiac imager, as its inventors call it, uses the same imaging technology used during pregnancy to look at the fetus in utero. But unlike with fetal imaging, Zhu says his ultrasound patch doesn't need to be manually repositioned. The electronic scan called the phase array will be able to focus and scan the ultrasound beam in the human body. They will be able to actively, actively looking for the target by itself. All done electronically by the program without the manual scanning or like uh, you know, repositioning of the device. The ability to scan the heart and get analytical data is part of a movement toward wearable monitors. Other popular devices, like the Fitbit, allow people to keep track of their vital signs at home. Zhu says the new cardiac monitor is so user-friendly it means doctors in remote parts of the world can check heart functions without expert staff or an echocardiogram machine. Zhu says along with individual health-conscious users, he thinks the wearable patch would be valuable to patients at an ICU. They are high risk of you know, uh, having those uh, uh, adverse events, and they need uh, constant continuous monitoring 24-7. Uh, I think uh, those technology will have the best use case uh, uh, to begin with in the ICU. Along with a partner, Ju has founded a company called Softsonics to commercialize the device. The ultrasonic cardiac imager will be marketed to the public in about two years. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.